How's it going, guys? Just after midnight on June 2nd, Friday here in Japan, we have a slightly unusual question for Anatomy MSK for my YouTube here. However, this question shows up on the family medicine forms for 2CK as well as on the step one exam. First time I heard about this, thought it seemed very nitpicky, low yield, but I've had various students over the years get this question on their real exam. So I teach my students this question. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram, the new Telegram group. I'm linking down below. Now let's start the clip. 36 year old woman comes to the physician. Two month history of right shoulder pain. She's an avid swimmer on physical exam. The patient is asked to place the dorsum of her hand against her lower back with the palm facing posteriorly. She is then asked to lift her hand posteriorly and away from her back. I need a period here. I'll edit that later. The physician applies an anterior directed counterpressure against the patient's hand. This elicits pain, which the following muscle tendons is most likely inflamed in this patient. And then we have uh, an illustration slash sketch of the supposed physical exam test. Okay, so let's just whip to the answer choices. Choice A, infraspinatus, wrong fucking answer. This carries out lateral slash external rotation of the shoulder. It's of course, part of the rotator cuff. So I have not seen you assimilate ever give a fuck about the supposed pitcher's injury because if you read about infraspinatus you'll see that affixed to this as though it's like a big deal never once seen that on nbme exam okay in fact they can tell you someone does baseball and then give you the physical exam for a different rotator cuff uh, tendon such as in this case all right so you don't want to get pulled into the, the supposed pitcher's injury but if they do any type of test with lateral rotation that could where it elicits pain that could be in for spinatus on USMLE. And they wouldn't give you teres minor at the same time because that also does lateral rotation. In for spinatus, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, subscapularis, correct answer. So you need to know that this is, holy shit, the Gerber lift off test. I don't really know what to tell you. Okay, so this is going to test for pain to, for against internal rotation. Okay, so medial slash internal rotation is the most important function of subscapularis, and it can be diagnosed with the Gerber lift-off test, where the patient's, the dorsal aspect of the patient's hand placed against the lower back, patient attempts to lift the hand off the lower back in posterior direction, physician exerts a counterpressure anteriorly against the palm, this causes pain. Okay, or the patient's unable to uh, perform the maneuver, period. So that's for subscapularis. As I said, it's on the family medicine forms. It's also in the step one. If you think it's weird, don't take it up with me. So real quick, super spinatus, wrong fucking answer. This is the highest yield rotator cuff tendon. They want you to know that this abducts the shoulder joint, uh, especially the first 15 degrees. Now, there's a couple things I can remark on. One, there's a question on one of the new internal internal medicine forms for TCK, whether it's form 7 or 8, where they literally say the patient has difficulty with abduction up to 60 degrees and it's supraspinatus. So although you learn slash hear about the first 15 degrees being the salient focus of supraspinatus, don't get so pigeonholed uh, because if they give you the physical exam maneuver, which is the empty or full can test, so the patient abducts the shoulder, to 90 degrees with the thumb up or down. That's going to be the full versus empty can test, especially uh, uh, respectively. And you have the physician apply an inferior pressure against the abducted arm that can cause pain. That's for supraspinatus. Okay, they like that on you assimilate the full and empty can test. They'll describe that, and the answer is just supraspinatus. So this is abduction of the shoulder joint, as I said, especially the first 15 degrees. In this case. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, terrace major, wrong answer. This isn't even part of the rotator cuff. This has multiple functions. I haven't seen you assembly give a fuck, okay? Uh, this can extend the shoulder. It can also do uh, adduction of the shoulder, okay? So when we get into the nitpicky anatomy, I mean, sure, you can learn all the insertions, origins. Uh, the step one's no longer numerical, right? So it's nothing to freak out about. Uh, for USMLE, you just need to know the basic points, which I'm talking about in this clip here. Finally, teres minor is just lateral rotation, same as in for spinatus. Okay, so I haven't seen USMLE care, really. You know, there's different uh, physical exam maneuvers, whether we have the uh, hornblower's test or whether we have the patient 
uh, flex the arm to 90 degrees of the hip with lateral rotation elicits pain. Yosemite is not so hysterical about it. You need to just know the basic functions. The infraspinatus and teres minor are both lateral rotation. Supraspinatus is abduction, especially the first 15 degrees. Subscapularis is medial slash internal rotation. And then for subscapularis, we have this Gerber liftoff test. For supraspinatus, we have the empty and full can test. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.